Hello viewers, welcome to Agile Math Class. Today we shall continue with our series on statistics for beginners. So today we are going to be working on the mean and the median of grouped data. Yeah, in our last video we've been able to talk about mean and median of ungrouped data. So today we are moving straight to the group data. Now looking at the question given to us here, we have these observations being grouped as shown here, and we have the frequency for each of it. Now, what we are expected to do is to calculate the mean, and don't forget from the definition of the mean, that calculating the mean, we have that the mean is, the formula for calculating the mean, we have it to be summation of x over summation f. This means that um, the summation of that is the plural of your frequency and the midpoint x, so which is what fx. So we are going to get the summation and um, divided by the summation of this frequency. Now the first thing we are going to do is to calculate the summation of our frequency, and from here we know that our summation of our frequency is addition of everything. We have three plus five plus six plus seven plus nine plus eight and seven. This is going to give us um. 38. That is the summation of our frequency. Now calculating our midpoint because the midpoint is going to start stand for our score. So calculating the midpoint between 40 and 49 just on a rough sketch if you have 40 plus 49 over 2 and that's going to give us what? 89 over 2 and that's going to give us 44.5. So, the midpoint of this is going to be 44.5. Calculating the midpoint for 50 to 59 is going to give us what? 54.5. This is easy to know, just add 10 to it, since it is at equal interval. And this is going to give us 74.5. This is going to give us 84.5. And this is going to give us 94.5. So that is our midpoint. Now the next thing for us to do is to calculate our fx. That is the product of our frequency and the midpoint x. So 3 times 44.5 is going to give us, you can use your calculator for confirmation of this. This is going to give us 133.5. And um, 5 times 54.5 is going to give us 272.5. 6 times 64.5 is going to give us 387. 9 times 74.5 is going to give us 60, 670.5. And then um, 8 times 84.5 is going to give us 676. And lastly, 7 times 94.5 is going to give us 665. Okay? So, adding this together, the summation of our fx, this ad plus this, plus this, plus this, in total is going to give us 2,804.5. So this is our fx. So this is going to stand for our what? Summation fx. So calculating the mean here, we have that our summation fx, which is 2,804.5, divided by our summation f, which is 38. So this is going to give us 73.8. This is our mean. So this is the average for these data sets. So you can see that the method of group data is quite different from the method of ungrouped data, being that here we need to calculate our midpoint because we need to know the average observation for this range of values. So this is mean. Now we are going to move straight to median of group data. 
And for calculating the median of group data, it has a formula. And the formula is easy to know. Yes, it is very easy to know. And um, for that, um, let me change my pen here. Yeah, let me change to red. So, for our median, for our median, we are going to make use of this formula. Um, let me make it thick, yeah. So, we are using this LB subscript B plus N over 2 minus cumulative frequency before the median class times the class width all over the frequency of the median class. Now, I'm going to say the meaning of all this. Here, yeah, we have that our LB Um, sorry, okay. So here we have that our LB, L subscript B, is the lower limit of the median class. Is the lower limit of the median class. And um, our N. is the number of observation. Okay? We have uh, that as our number of observation. We have our CFB to be the cumulative frequency before our median class. Okay? So this is the cumulative frequency before the median class. Sorry for using abbreviation. And um, we have our F subscript M, which is the frequency of the median class. So it's the frequency of our median class. And lastly, we have C, which is the um, class width, or let me say class size, yeah. Let's call this class size. Yeah, looking at this, from here, we know that our lower limit, the first thing for us to determine is to determine our median class. And for you to determine your median class, in our last video, you can check. We talk about how to determine median, okay, of ungrouped data. Now, the summation f we have here is 38. So when you divide 38 over 2, it's going to give us 19, right? So let's calculate our cumulative frequency and let's see first. So our cumulative frequency means addition of the subsequent frequencies. And here we have 3, starting with 3. And um, next we have um, we have three plus five, right? We have um, three plus the next value, which is five. So that's going to give us what? Um, we are. Let me put it this way: that we have um, we have three plus five, which is going to give us eight. And um, next one we have the previous value, which is eight plus 6, right? Sorry. And which is going to give us 14. So subsequently like that, 14 plus 9 is going to give us 23. 23 plus the next value, which is 8. Okay? Next frequency value, which is going to give us 31. And um, to the last value, which is 7, is going to give us 38. So this is going to give us 38. Now let's check. Since our summation f, 
our summation f is 38. Okay, so our median class is going to be less over 2, which is 19th value. So where does our 19th value fall? So we can see that it falls on this region. Yes, it falls on this region. So this is going to be our what? Our median class. Um, let me change the pen so we can see what we mean by the median class. So our median class is going to be this. Oh. So which is this? Straight down like this. So it's 70 to 79. So looking at this now, what is going to be our lower limit? So our lower limit is 70, while upper limit is 79. So our lower limit is 70, right? And our number of observation from 40 to 49. You know, students often make mistake here whereby saying that um, 40 to 49 is 9. No. So 40 to 49 is 10. We have 10 digits. Okay, when you count from 40 to 49. So here we can say that our N is 10. And um, the cumulative frequency before the median class. Since this is our median class, so the cumulative frequency before it is what? 14. Okay? That is our cumulative frequency before it. We have it to be what? 14. And lastly, um, we have our frequency, our frequency um, of the median class. So the frequency, since this is the median class, the frequency of the median class is 9. Okay? So the frequency of the median class is, um, is 9. Why our class size is 10? Oh, sorry. Our number of observation can be 10. That is a mistake for my part. It's 38. Okay? Our number of observation is the same thing as summation F. Okay? Now, doing this, we are going to make use of... Um, we are going to make use of this values in computing our median. So coming down here, we have that our median will now be equal. Our lower limit, which is 70, we can decide to use boundary if you like, instead of using limit, okay? In bracket, n over 2, our n, which is the number of observation, which is 38 over 2, minus the cumulative frequency before the median class, which is 14. All over, okay, we have this closed, times our class limit, which is 10. Everything over um, frequency of the median class, which is found to be 9. So going forward, we have 70 plus 38 divided by 2 is going to give us 19 minus 14 everything over 9 multiplied by 10. So here we have 70 plus 19 minus 14 is going to give us 5 over 9 multiplied by 10. So we have 70. You have um, 70 plus 5 over 9 or 5, let's can multiply 5 by 10 and here we are going to have um, 50 over 9, okay? So going forward, we have 50 over 9. You can solve that using your calculator. So we are going to have um, 70 plus 50 over 9, because I am doing this without using um calculator. We know that um, 50 over 10 is 5, right? So, let's do that somewhere here. We have 50 over 9. 9 in 50, 9 times 5 is 45, right? So, you have that as 5 point, remainder 5. So, you can have that as 5.5. .5. Okay? 
So because 950 is 45, remainder 5, add 0 to each 50, so you can have 5.5. .5. So here you have 5.5. .5. And finally, our answer is going to be 75.5. So this is our final answer. One thing you will observe with the median is that the value you are going to get here as the median value must fall within this range from 70 to 75. If it falls outside this range, it shows that what? It shows um, that your answer is wrong. So you can see that the median class is somehow greater than the uh, midpoint, which is 74.5. So kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be notified of our subsequent videos on this series. And we hope to upload more videos. In our next video, we'll be uploading videos on how to do mode of group data and also of ungrouped data and also try to help us share and um, like this video comments thank you very much see you next week